then I'm going to show you guys how to uh, keyframe. So you're going to need um, some specific uh, images for this. So when you do your project, um, be sh you, you download your images and you put them in your folder. And I'm going to show you where mine are. So I have mine right here. Um, but yours you will download and have in your own folder. Okay, so there's all of my um, files, but also I saved this project in that same folder. It's called Untitled right now. I should probably change that to say um, Spring. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is I need to import the files. So go to File Import and navigate to where those files are. Once again, they're in TDM Vault. Um, if this you watching this from a different class, um, I'm working for the ones in period one, um, but obviously you don't need to do that. So I'm going to um, select all those files. I'm going to import them. Okay. Now what I'm going to start with is take a look at each file that I have. So this is my background file. So. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use that, but before I do, I need to make a sequence. Um, so I'm going to go New Sequence, and I'm going to set this sequence so it's uh, DSLR 1080p by 24 frames per second. I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call it um, Spring again. All right. So now my sequence is ready, and then I'm going to put my first thing in this, pic which is this picture, and so I'm going to drag it in, and now it. You notice that it zoomed in quite a bit uh, because it's a different resolution. So to get it to look the same, I have to right click and I have to do scale to frames size. Now it looks the same. So um, I'm going to work with these um, images. For example, this one, this is just this uh, bird. And so I'm going to take this bird and going to move it down here. And I want to make my background a bit longer. And that's simply done that way. So here I have my bird. So I'm looking at my bird, and my bird's pretty big. So I'm going to Effect Controls, and I'm going to go to Scale, and I'm going to bring the scale down. So the bird's like that size. You can kind of make the bird whatever size you want. But I'm going to work on positioning the bird um, where I want to start from. So you see what you see where I'm using the position, and I'm going to move this bird um, over. So Actually, I'm going to move my playhead to the beginning of the bird clip. Then I'm going to take my bird and I'm going to move my bird off of the screen. Okay, so you don't even see him. So now you see my playhead and I'm going to click position and that sets a keyframe for this spot. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my keyframe to the end of that. Okay, um, and then what I can do is I can adjust the position again which is this one. Um, oops, that was a mistake. I meant to use this one. Okay, and have the bird come all the way across. Okay, and so then I play it and the bird goes across. Okay, and that's simply um, done by keyframing. Now, I also gave you some sound effects and let me make sure I have it in here. So I gotta go to import and I gotta find this bird chirping sound. Bring that in there. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to have this, oh, I guess I already had it in. So I'm gonna put this effect here. I'm gonna listen to it quick. And so right there you can hear the chirping and it chirps twice. So, but I can, I'm just gonna, they're basically identical. So you notice I cut that. So I'm gonna put my chirp right about here, okay? And once again, you can zoom in and zoom out on your timeline so that it's easier to work with. So I'm just kinda of narrowing down so I just hear the chirp, okay? All right, and I'm gonna make a copy just in case I want to use it again. So copy, paste. Um, gotta do edit, paste. And then move my chirp. So my bird chirps twice. So now I play it and the bird. Okay. So that's basically how you keyframe. 
And what you're gonna do is you're gonna work with like the, um, the bird, you got a flower, you've got um, another type of bird, um, obviously the background, and you're going to keyframe them to move different ways. Like maybe this flower, I decide I'm gonna put here, okay? Now the flower is right in my screen. Uh, actually, I don't wanna use that flower. I just realized that flower has the checkered boxes around it. We can't use that. So I'll give you a different flower for when you do this for real. Um, so let me see if my other flower is, okay. So I'll get you the other flowers in here, but let's just pretend that this bird is a flower, okay? And, because I want you to do a thing where the, the, the flowers grow out of the ground. So here's my bird, and I'm gonna once again go to the very beginning of that clip, and I can use my up and down arrow keys to move like that. So, um, it's not quite hitting it perfect, so I'm gonna just use my arrow keys, get right to that first frame. And once again, have that controls over, and I'm gonna position, um, I'm gonna move my bird down. Well, actually, I'm gonna make him smaller too. He's, he's kind of obnoxious. Sorry, I had the wrong thing chosen. I'm gonna make him a bit smaller, okay? Then I'm gonna move him off the screen, okay? And then I'm going to set a position keyframe. So at the start, he's off the screen. Then I'm gonna go here and at the end, okay? And so then I'm gonna position the bird so he comes up and there he is. But once again, you could do this with a flower. Um, so now the bird is gonna come up out of the ground, okay? So that's how you do keyframing and obviously the, um, the shorter this is, the faster that the bird would come up. So um, you can mess with scale, you can have it start smaller, bigger. Um, just gonna um, encourage you to um, be creative with this. Um, once again, you do have to have a title in this and just a quick refresher if you're not sure how to do a title, if you forgot. Um, you just uh, click on the T and um, go up here, type somewhere. And this one's gonna be called Spring is Coming. And I wanna make this a font that kind of stands out. So I'm gonna, first of all, try something that is a little thicker, maybe like an Arial Bold, but you can be creative and choose whatever you want. Um, Arial, like I said, I'm gonna make it bold here so it um, just stands out a bit more. I'm gonna scale it up so it's a little bit bigger, okay? And then I can just use my arrow key to kind of move it to where I want it to, okay? It's a little bit harder to see, so I'm gonna put an outline around it. And what I'm gonna do for the, and that's done with a stroke. And I'm gonna click this because I wanna sample the color. I'm actually gonna sample a color from what, using this keyframe. I'm gonna use a color from here, like a darker green maybe. So try that. Uh, let me try again, and so there it is. And now it changes this. And then I can change the stroke to change the size of that. And there I have my title. Okay, so bottom line, that's, that's how you do it. Um, so yeah, that's a keyframe.